News 4 at 11 starts now. Much more to come on Sports Final. We're going to take you to a local ball field where wounded warriors are giving a little help to kids who know a thing or two about their struggles. Stay with us. This week we go behind the scenes with children from across the country who spent this week at George Mason for softball camp. Now, this camp, a little different. The athletes and coaches all missing an arm, leg, some both. The Wounded Warriors amputee softball team hosting their only kids camp of the year. I met Joseph Peters, a confident 12-year-old who is learning to play the game his own way. It's been amazing because we're all the same. We all have some kind of missing body part or something. Warriors on three. One, two, three. Warriors. A very dear friend of mine's uh, wife came up to me one day and she said, hey, what do you think about doing this for the kids, which we've done for the soldiers? And go, 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 go. As we traveled around the country, we noticed a lot of amputee children who always came to the games and they were just fascinated with watching these guys. And so she created the idea and we ran with it. At my hometown, there's not very many people like this and to be here with all these other people, it, it kind of... It's nice. Ready positions. We got one out, one out. Not just teammates, but coaches. So ground her. I want you to run as fast as you can, all right? Just like Joseph, right. Cody Rice also missing part of his right leg. I ended up taking a knee and I stepped right on a mine, which, you know, blew my right foot off instantly. There was nothing there. Post-injury, you know, my life was very hard. You know, it was, you know, I was depressed. You know, I was on medications and, you know, I was worrying, you know, I was wondering if I was ever going to do anything the same again my whole, you know, the rest of my life. But, you know, I learned to cope with that by, you know, proving to myself, by setting small goals, proving to myself that I could do anything still. And, you know, and uh, now I'm here still. I can hit farther than most guys with, with normal, with, you know, with, with two feet, two arms and everything. Don't stand in front of the plate. Now teaching from a very unique perspective. I thought I was going to be a horrible hitter. It makes it easier for me to understand and learn because they know what it, they teach it because we know how it feels. Go, go, go. It's very rewarding. Um, I get to, you know, help these kids out, show them that, you know, they can do anything and they see me hit, you know, the ball far and they're like, whoa, like, and I tell them, you know, like, you can do the same. People say we're inspiration, but they, these kids inspire us. Being around uh, other children like themselves and also around these soldiers, you know, who, who are just like them, it's, it's, it's such a boost for them because, you know what, they can relate to each other and uh, not only does it help the kids it helps the guys too let's be honest they are they're different than normal people so but you know that doesn't it's a new normal like Greg Reynolds calls it you know they use their new normal to you know be successful and they can be successful it's a once in a lifetime camp so it makes it even better how was day three awesome yeah. And it's just absolutely incredible, especially seeing those kids out there. But we have to add, one of the best part about these camps are the nicknames. Joseph, nickname was Joey Potato Chips. We asked him why. He said he didn't know. Later we learned he said he ate a couple of bags that entire week. <laughs>